All right, so let's look at finding limits where when we plug the x value in, the limit as x approaches negative 3, so if we take this negative 3 and plug it in for x, you'll notice that we get negative 3 squared plus negative 3 minus 6 over negative 3 plus 3 and this gives us 0 over 0. Okay, So when we plug in the number for x and we get 0 over 0, this means that we have to do something else. So if you notice with the x squared plus x minus 6, this will factor. So let's, let's factor this so we get the limit as x goes to negative 3 and the x squared plus x minus 6 that will factor into x plus 3 times x minus 2 over x plus 3 and what happens here is the x plus 3's will cancel and so that leaves us with the limit with the limit as x goes to negative 3 of x minus 2. And so now if we take the negative 3 and we plug it in for x that gives us negative 3 minus 2 equals negative 5. And this would be our answer. So the limit would be negative 5. So remember if you plug the x in and you end up with 0 over 0 like we got here then we have to try something else and in this case we could factor the numerator and that would allow us to cancel the x plus 3's and then we could take the negative 3 plug it in for x and we could get our limit of negative 5 alright so let's take a look at another one all right, so let's take a look at this one. We've got the limit of x cubed minus 8 over x minus 2 as x approaches 2. So if you look at this, if we take the 2 and we plug it in, we get 2 cubed minus 8 over 2 minus 2, which gives us 8 minus 8 over 2 minus 2 which is 0 over 0. So we need to try something else. Alright, so the uh, numerator will factor. That's going to be the limit as x goes to 2. Now the x cubed minus 8, that's the difference of 2 cubes. So we can write that as x cubed minus 2 cubed. And do you remember how to uh, factor the difference of 2 cubes? So that's going to be x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 4 over x minus 2. Okay. All right. And then you notice here the x minus 2's will cancel and so that leaves me with the limit as x goes to 2 of x squared plus 2x plus 4 which is equal to 2 squared plus 2 times 2 plus 4. And this is going to give us 4 plus 4 plus 4, which gives us a limit of 12. Okay. Alright, so I hope this video has helped. Thank you.